let's model and texture something that we can use inside the uh, lunar greenhouse lab. I'm going to make this very simple um, incubator for plants. Uh, so I got this image and that. So it's sim simple modeling and simple texturing in Substance Painter. All right, so let's let's just do something like this. I'm, I'm going to use a circle and I'm going to keep it at 32 vertices. So I'm trying not to add a subdivision and keep it relatively smooth. So I'm going to let's get all this stuff here. Let's press E to extrude. Come up. Let me just see what we're going to do. I'm going to come up. Yeah. All right. I'm going to come up. I'm going to come in like that and I'm going to come up again like that something like this e come in not too thick just you know that's the thickness of the wall right there we're going to extrude down e scale in f to make face so this is where I'd put some soil and some plants and stuff so let's take this and bevel this by hand or manually control b I'm going to put just total of three edges in there I am going to bring one down here though and I'm going to bevel here just a little bit and I'm going to bevel here a little bit so that I can shade smooth and it'll look all right but I'm going to go ahead and put on the cavity shader uh, so that's the main base of the thing and then uh, I just want to make sure I didn't come in too much I may have done that so maybe I'll come back out and select a bunch of this stuff to there look from the front and I'm going to scale shift Z pull it out and down a bit just to all right something like that okay uh, let's take something like well, you can take that and make the glass shift D Let's pull that up a bit. P to break it out. Take that and scale it out. And let's see. I can't tell where it's going to be. It doesn't really matter. We'll put it down around there. And we'll extrude up to see how high we want to make this. Now I'm going to go into solid view. We're going to get rid of that face. And we're going to get rid of that face as well. Something like that. I want it more squat. I don't want it too too tall so let's go ahead and make the top so I'm going to select that edge shift D and duplicate it pull it up P to break it out and go take that guy and pull it back down I'm going to press 1 for vertex selection and come out a little ways E to extrude let's just have a look at the picture again so I can see what I'm going to do so I'm going to come up and go in basically okay I'm going to come up and then I'm going to extrude up and I'm going to scale in, drop that down. E and S, I'm going to come in like that, maybe a bit more. And I'm just going to come up. It's just really easy stuff. Come in like this. And essentially doing what we did before. Nope, not that though. Scale in, E and S. And have to make a face. Okay, now I'm going to bevel these edges. I'm going to bevel this edge. I'm going to bevel this edge. And this edge. And for this part, I'm just going to bring it in like that, probably. Bevel that edge. And that is basically it. The only thing I would like to try and do maybe is narrow this a little bit and just have another look at this. So I got a long piece here and okay. Let's, let's work on that a little bit more. Box select here, pull that down. All right, anyways, I think you get the idea. You can you can mess around with this as much as you would want to to get the exact shape you want. I'll just have one last look at it. 
Okay, and I'll shorten this. There we go. That's what we're going to go with. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to see who's flipped. And everybody's flipped. Alt and recalculate outside. So that was a necessary thing to do. We could also just merge by distance, make sure I, I can't imagine there's anything, but I may have made a mistake somewhere. All right, good. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is give this some materials. So I'll say new. I'm going to call this incubator one body. This will also be incubator one body. And this will be incubator one, because I'm going to have a couple of different versions of this glass all right so we got materials we're going to go to UV editing and I think um, let's see if I was just to unwrap that I'd get that okay let's press control one and uh, what I might do is put a scene down that's just the glass and control E mark scene select it you unwrap and I'll get a nice straight piece so that's gonna be fine for that and for this I was thinking I'm gonna select the face and then select everything and you uh, light map pack I'm gonna try uh, I'm not sure how much I need that but I'm gonna do that and then with it still selected I'm going to say follow active quads and then and uh, I'll use UV pack master and I'll just I'll pack that right now we'll come back to this and then I'll have just this little circle there and think about if I care about that and I'm gonna do the same thing here so I'm going to select something to be active and select it all and do sorry you light map pack I'll leave it at that and then you follow active quads and I'll have that have a bigger circle that'll be that inner circle in there and now what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll grab everything and maybe at that point with everything selected I'll just pack so now this piece here let me double check um, let's turn on sync there yeah that's gonna be that piece and and I want to do something on there and I've got all this room so I'm going to Go ahead and I'm going to make this uh, larger. And that's that's going to be just fine. I'm just, going to, I'm just going to leave the UVs like that. Okay, so that's my thing there. It's, as far as any shading issues, if I really wanted to, I could put on weighted normal and normals auto smooth. Just look at it and see if it changes a bit. It does. So. And I'm not sure I really care about that at this point. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, let's move that up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to select the whole thing and convert it to an FBX and bring it into Substance Painter. All right, there it is in Substance Painter. So, um, I'm going to come to the texture set settings and the first thing to do is to bake the mesh maps I'm going to do this at 2k uncheck ID because I don't need that and click bake and as it's baking just have a look I could use more texture or uh, texel density I could split this up I could spend more time on it but we'll see how it looks uh, it's going to be a small thing and you're not going to zoom too close to it so let's just have a look at the bake I mean it's a very simple object so all right and it's gonna be simple texturing too just a prop in the scene so let's go ahead and look at the body first of all now for materials what to do well you can build your own material or you can use a small smart material and in my case I've got a smart material that I made a while ago it's plant incubator uh, I used it for another um, scene that I did and it's just um, it's just this it's a plastic glossy uh, and it may be a little bit shiny you know it could decrease the roughness a little bit um, and and that's really it okay but we'll put some other stuff on there all right so I'm gonna use that smart material but I mean you could use other plastic materials 
uh, if you wanted to. Uh, I think the next thing I'll do is I'll start to, uh, to put down some, some decals or something on this. So I'm going to switch over to orthographic and snap it into, into view. That'll be my, my main base there. And so I'm looking right at the front of this. I'm going to create a, I'm just going to do this on a paint layer, not in the folder though, above there. All right, and for the channels I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh, color and height. And I'm going to change this sort of to a blackish color here. Height, I'm going to drop down maybe about a third or so, 0.29 or minus 0.29. And we'll start off with alphas. I'm going to choose dots. So these are already pre-built in Substance Painter. I'm looking at this one here. And we'll see what this is like. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm holding down control and I'm the right mouse button and I'm pulling. And I'm thinking about something like right there. And what I'm looking for right now is how sharp these look. Now we are at a resolution of 1024. I'm going to up this to 2048 after and it should be okay. All right, I mean, it's a pretty typical design. It's, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, and I think I'll put some text right there. So I'm going to stay on this layer with all those same parameters for now. So I'm going to choose font. I'm going to come to this Orbitron. And I'm going to scroll up here and change the title here to Luna and then capital green. Luna green, that's kind of my uh, logo for this stuff, like the moon and green. Now, it's clipping the letters on the sides a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the size here. And then I'm going to increase the size here. And that's as far as I can go. So I'm going to go 120 or so. Now, let's have a look at this as I try to place this roughly in the center. If it goes funny like that, I'm going to come back to here and where is it? Right here, instead of alignment tangent wrap, I'm gonna try just camera. You can try all the all other ones as well. And I'm gonna to try to center this as best I can. And I'm just gonna do that. Now it is a little blurry, admittedly, and that's why it's really nice to use the UDIM method, uh, but I'll up the resolution soon. All right, I'm not going to do it right this second. So I got some, I got my logo in there. Now I'm going to snap it to the top. I'm going to put on a symmetry. I'm going to switch to radial symmetry. Y, 360, and I'm going to go for about, let's try not 125, 6, 12. And let's see if I do that. Okay. So now I'm going to try a few of these different ones. And that's what I want, but I don't want that many actually. I want, I think, 10. So just figuring out where I want to place these. Something like that. Yeah, okay. I'm going to turn off symmetry and I'm going to search for bolt. Now, I sometimes make my own bolts, but this is one, uh, an alpha I happen to buy. Uh, so that's one of one I'm going to use. I'm going to scale this up and I'm going to just put that right down there like that. Just, just there, maybe a bit bigger. All right, so we got that thing in there. And one more thing I think I'll do, I think I will go back to this and I'm going to use a brush a hard brush and get it nice and small. Let's see how well this works. I'm holding down shift and control. Click that's a little bit wide for me. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm still looking in orthographic and I guess I'm on tangent wrap. And uh, let's get that smaller and just put that down. I still want it smaller than that. Yeah, there. Okay, so I'll do one there, and I'm gonna do one down here. This one I'm gonna have a little bit thicker. That's fine with me. Okay, so let's get out of orthographic and just look at this like that. We'll do the glass in a minute, but first let's try a little bit of dirt. So this I'm just gonna call decals. Now I'm gonna add a fill layer and I'm going to use color and roughness. I'm gonna drag the roughness all the way up because I'm gonna do some dirt and dirt generally doesn't have 
much roughness, or it's very rough. Maybe that's what I mean. Brownish green kind of color. All right, I'm going to add a black mask and then a generator and choose dirt, and it should go nuts. Okay, that's good actually. That's what I like. I'm going to lower that, and I do want some, and that's about fine. And the other thing that you can do is um, you can add a um, an anchor point to your decals, what your alphas, and then relate to it from the dirt generator. So come up here, scroll down to micro details, turn that on, micro height, scroll to the bottom, micro height, because I'm using alphas, not normals. Choose that, and then in the reference channel, choose the, ch change that to height. And it, and it did fill it in with a little bit of dirt in there, as you can see. All right, um, not that much, but a little bit. Okay, let's let's go ahead and up this to at least 2048. And if it doesn't look sharp enough uh, in the end, and I think that's really actually fine for what I'm going to be doing. Um, if it didn't though, I could do the UDIMs on this. Let's add one more thing on here, and that is some scratches. And the way I'm gonna do that is add a fill layer. And um, on the fill layer, I'm gonna choose, we'll try color and height and we'll see. We'll drop the, drop the color down just a little bit. And the height will just drop a little bit as well. Okay, I'll add a black mask, right click and add a fill. Open that up. So we have grayscale revealed there, procedurals and scratches. And I'm gonna drag this last one onto there. And sometimes it looks good, sometimes it don't. I'm going to decrease that. I can try a different one. I just want a few scratches on this thing. And then you can adjust the uh, the quantity, the width, and uh, all of these things. Okay, I just want to see if I get a few little dents and dings in there. And I do. And that's basically what I'm going for. All right, good. So we got some scratches on there too. All right, let's turn our attention now to the glass. Now this is gonna have opacity, and so I have to do something here. In the shader settings, I'm gonna change this from PBR Metal Rough to PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending, so I'm gonna to need to do that. And in the texture set settings, as I look at the channels, I've got base color, height, roughness, metallic, normal. I don't have opacity, so I'm gonna add that by clicking the plus and choosing opacity. Make sure we're on the glass, okay? I don't need this layer. I'm gonna use a smart material. Um, I'm gonna use a glass, and uh, many of these come with uh, Substance Painter. I don't know if this one does, this glass dirty. I'm gonna try that one. Just drag it in, and there it is. It's already got some dirt on it, and it works great. It's already got some opacity on it. So the only thing I think I really wanna do, though, is I wanna change this, and I want it sort of a more sci-fi kind of uh, greenish, kind of color I don't know I may not stick with that exact color but uh, that's roughly what I'm gonna go for and I may do lights in there I may do uh, an emission I'm not sure but I think the last thing I would do is I would come over here just to have a nice look at this thing here sorry and I would activate anti-aliasing activate a color profile and choose something like this one and maximize by hitting tab and that's that's really that's really it and there it is really quick all right i would need to put my soil in there my plants in there and then of course if you want you can um, play with the lighting right in here you know change it to a different lighting and you know see what see what looks good maybe you think that looks nice in sci-fi for the time being just for previewing it uh, right now all right, so that's it. Then after that, you would have to export these textures and bring them into Blender and you know hook them up and get them to work. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I'll save this and we'll come back to it. All right, so much more to do, but thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.